they are literally on the precipice of greatness. They are one out of there. Got the trade back. It will just be that kill to hope, though, and that's the biggest importance. Shanks coming here to cut him off as well. The sapling connected on has no way out of here. The sacrificial rel here, and hope gets another one. That's two kills for the big gun show of WE. And this all-important jungle matchup has started to get some value here for Team WE. Shun had held back Shanks a little bit, but can't stop him from roaming first in this play. Yagao just not a Bolo for the top player, WE. And that top lane matchup where Q picks up his 9 and 1 rumble has some fire left in it as well, not just the bot side of the map. Yagao goes down immediately as a trade though, it's Shun 2, this is disastrous! That's 2 for Hope and 1 for Hung! BLG, they look for the cross map onto bot side, they give up Herald for a chance to shut down Hope's Kaiser. And Elk is just gonna go down to Hope's killer instinct. This is a really strong early game from Team WE. It is exactly what we asked from them because we know that BLG, they're so good at snowballing those leads. Ben, forced to flash, might still oh, die he anyway. Oh, so dead. Oh, Cube, one more harpoon should do it. Captain says it hits. And BLG now have to look at a five kill shiv ice. That's our e easily tanked and juggled and BLG capitalize on Shanks in the side lane. So what's happening on bot side though? Okay, Harold into bot side, out of turrets. That's going to be a full turret taken down. They can potentially get a push onto the inner turret as well. No teleports to get towards Whoa. the individual champions. And they find another one. When you give a shutdown and shoot on the Kha'Zix, my goodness. And you also take the static shiv off the map for a while. I really want to see now if BLG can pressure this mid lane out of turret for the one time in the game it feels like you're going to be without that Kaiser on the map. No way. No way they are just doing this right now. What the hell is going on? This is disaster from Team WE. They should back here get engaged on with the equalizer. That's pretty big. Shun just gets caught out completely. 3,000 on the Baron, but BLG are taking the other side of the fight. Ben is in the pit now, and Ben is starting to do some work. Odds coming around. He's trying to get shakes. He misses him. But now BLG with Elk from behind, they can't do much. And they trying to skirt the edge there. BLG catch out the support of WE. Team WE just they play on too many lanes. They should have just tried to go for a. a Something like a, a, one, a, a one three one with Hung trying to protect Cube when he was alone in that one other lane, but they play a little bit too wide. BLG pick up some kills, and knowing that then they're not faced with all five members of Team WE, they find themselves in a very important kill. Hope they want it. it. Yes, yes, yes. Let's go, Hope. Solo has been detected and shouldn't eviscerates him to death. Uh, now, actually, a weird engage on the on. <laughs> he has to turn around and run away after he uses the X flash. Run, little horsey, run. Oh, he's going to try to use the crash down. He's a little bit slow now, though, as well. The sapling doesn't connect. They're going to equalize the rip, too. This is for Iwandi. This is revenge. But that's a rel. What? Why? <laughs> Folks, why are we committing that hard to a support? Oh, oh, we whoa. We see a couple Shooting of kills on the Would have quite liked to see that. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, third item makes a difference. Hope now on a roll. And WN, can he get into the pit? He's getting knocked around now. Equalizer comes through and the Baron goes to WE. And that just means they're going to look for the fight. Hope is flashing forward, but he overextended. He gets sniped by Elk. I want to take it out too. And Ben and Elk gets taken out by Cube here. As now Ben with the flank trying to catch out Iwandi. Maybe he's looking for a trade. The Equalizer comes through. Shanks not finding an angle there. But shouldn't going down is a big piece to BLG gone off the map. And Shanks is here. This is a 5v4. BLG play pretty combat out here as well, and look at Cube just manhandling him right there. WE, the big knockup into the Magnet Storm. Yagao goes for the engage there as well. Iwandi trying to find out. Ben can't get to the back line. Can he get hope? One more auto. Ben is the saving grace right now with Elk on the other side. All the carries for BLG are still alive, and they're taking you down one by one. You cannot rise to the might. That is Billy Billy Gaming! It is the A couple autos. You still got four seconds for hope. This is it! BLG! They've turned around a game number one. You go with this little they auto do it. attack finishes it off! And that's game! Showed what they were trying to do, but it's just a couple catch outs, a couple slip ups, and BLG will be there to capitalize every.
as they will have a 15 and one record never done before in this first blood has already gotten to hope they get it back as the kill goes to elk so that's actually pretty big both adcs on the board but that extra hundred gold over to hope so first blood goes over to hope as you were saying but lost gold from the Minions. Elk just dies uh, elk? here. What? He just <laughs> dies to the solo polo for my Wandy. I mean, that's one way to end off that play. So BLG, now two games. That are, no, you. G to answer Hung. Hung doesn't have a budge. He does get the ward in, but he realizes too late what has happened. And soon gets the kill. Now TP coming in as well. And that's Yagal joining. I Wandy, he's trying to Spider Man out of there, but the rope has snapped. And soon <laughs> has gotten a double kill. I mean, welcome to the LPL, uh, for those of you who are tuning in for the very end of the Goes down, Shanks gets one as well. On top of it all, Yagao is getting in there with that distortion, but can't get the damage back in. He goes, as the Tivers will be the focus now. That is what BLG come away with. But look at Yagao, they get on, but Yagao gets the claim down onto Hope, and I want he falls too. Shanks comes Shanks. over, and the carousel keeps turning, Not and Hong is here too, and my goodness. They are just diving full G, ripping them apart. They already had a 3,000 gold lead. They're looking to make it more. As we're getting flashes out, Tippers comes through. Counter-Strike from Cube. He tries to get out, but he gets pulled back. Beautiful play from BLT. And they are just running into the face of uh, WE. Oh, he doesn't get the connection on the Vault Breaker. He'll have to back oh, away. Shun. A little bit of a misplay for Shun, but it does <laughs> really bad position as the Repose connects on the Fear. That's so big and on. Crash down over the wall. There's no follow-up from WE. On here with the feathers, and there we go. The man himself gets his second kill. Good golden pocket, and it might allow WE to take this top, this mid lane out of turret. In fact, it will do. Harold shuck, uh, chucks down to help that one go. Down hung, and that's a big piece because he didn't have paranoia, and they won't have the light switch now. BLG will move away. They have Baron potentially to turn around on. A little bit dicey. Well, Ben gets one pick out. The feather storm was big, but can the blade collar be big enough? You do have a lot of damage from Hope, and a little bit late on that blade collar. They still get the pick out on Ben. Holy moly, that's a lot of damage coming in from the Zai. You can see how long he... three, and he's a very strong four-man now for BLG to take him out. Yep, did not win it that one, folks. Overstay from the top side by Cube. He knows he has to be on top side. He just overstays a little too. It's what's helping a lot, though, as Hope trying to get away from the rest of the engage. I wonder he's getting low on BLG. He should actually trying to look for it. You got with a poke over the wall of the static shiv. Not enough. Now resets for Elf maybe coming through. Goes golden. He doesn't have timbers. He doesn't have anything out. The flash is not enough. Yagao will pick him off. As now actually the feather storm going to be used. Cube is backing with the potential to TP in. But it is the Baron that can just be forced here by BLG. Okay, they're going to try gonna... to find Ben. Oh, they do actually get the paranoia here onto him. He's going to try to kite out. But Iwandi is coming as well. Dredge line in to get closer. And this is a pick out on the Ben. It is that Baron, though, burned down by out yet again, but what have they lost for? And it's mid lane. As a nice pullback of the Feathers from Hope gets one back, too. WE respond with a bit of defense in their base. Elk getting a little bit low, trying to find this one. He does get the flash out there in the end. Uh, Yagao? Oh, they want to go Yagao's on the Nexus, folks. <laughs> he is. Uh, he does have an answer, though, from Cube. As Shun just gets caught out here, goes with the cease and desist back in. Feather Storm is back available, and a kill goes to Hung. Here comes Shun over the wall. Not going to use that Vault Breaker, realizing Gon's life is forfeit. WE with another important pick. It's not like there's a Baron on the table this time. No big objectives to come through. Bin is going to find Shanks here. That's going to be a lot of damage. They're TPing in as well. Yagao's coming as well. Oh my goodness. This is just a chaotic fight happening. Everyone's Shanks coming in. out by Yagao. Elk is all the load in the middle of the fight. Shun has come to help him. He survives. He rocket jumps over the edge. And now you got the Vault Breaker over and the fight in the stop side. Bin finally falls. Yagao's trying to take him out. But my goodness, what a scrappy one! As Elk trying to finish off Hung, he saw him, and the rocket jump in, a triple kill for BLG's Elk! And only Cube left! A complete ace! And BLG, they've done it! BLG will end Summer 2023 with a 15 and 1 series record. No one has ever achieved that. Their fate this time, they'll smash through the ceiling of the LPL. A couple of awkward games in the regular season. He's not quite ready to join the, the rookies and the scouts and the knights and the top tier mid laners of the LPL.